Welcome to the Audio Dabble YouTube channel. My name is Mitch, and in today's episode, we're going to take a look at the LiveJack M audio interface by Donner. And we're also going to kind of take a look at what an audio interface is and why you may or may not need one. So first, let's answer the question what an audio interface is. It's a piece of hardware that allows a computer, iPhone, iPad, etc. to communicate with external gear like microphones, instruments, um, bigger studio monitors, and things like that. Usually um, connects via USB. Some older ones have Firewire. The newer ones have USB-C. And it provides standard inputs and outputs uh, for audio signals. Um, for iOS devices, you will need something like, or the ones that have a lightning cable, you'll need something like a... Um, camera connection kit that converts lightning to USB. This one also has charging abilities. I would most definitely recommend the Apple ones because those are good quality, better quality than most of the cheaper ones you can find on Amazon. A few reasons why you would want or need an audio interface if you want to get improved audio quality this uh, Donner right here has 192 kilohertz 24-bit sample rate which is um, is really good and so that provides more than what a typical sound card built into a computer can uh, provide it does provide more inputs and outputs um, and bigger inputs and different inputs because this one has XLR input and a quarter inch or TRS input combo jack on the front. Um, some audio interfaces you can get have multiple inputs and outputs and can interface with multiple inputs allowing you to record simultaneously like 8, 10, 16 tracks. So you could record a whole band. You could all have individual tracks and then you could mix it later in post. It's a wider compatibility with professional equipment. And if you're planning on using an iPad or your computer or something like that for, in a live situation, there's poop in the woods, yeah. You will need something to interact with or interface with the front of house or the PA system. And so having a good quality audio interface is key to that to get the sounds out if you want to use some of your virtual instruments on your iPad or your computer to be able to interface and play those throughout the through your live gig. Now that we know what an audio interface is and why you may or may not need one, let's take a look at this Donner um, LiveJack M. Now they did not send this to me. I was looking for a small portable interface and I figured I'd give this one a try. For the price, you can't beat it and Donner always has some sort of coupon code or something you can clip on Amazon and so you can easily get this for maybe 60, 70 bucks. It's normal price is I think around 80, um, but that definitely varies. Check for coupon codes. Um, it's a super lightweight portable interface that weighs only 103 grams, which is about the weight of a bar of soap or a newborn puppy. It's very compact and portable, has maybe a semi-premium feel. It doesn't feel premium. It is plastic housing, but the plastic doesn't necessarily feel cheap, but it is plastic and so it doesn't have that super premium feel like other um, interfaces do that have the more metal chassis on it. The main knob on the interface feels really good. It is for the gain of the input of the either XLR or TRS instrument jack. It has good travel and it doesn't feel super loose or anything like that. It's got some slider buttons kind of on the side that um, feel pretty nice, you know, kind of just standard clicky button or clicky slider. So on the other side it has some 3.5 millimeter mini jacks which is for the aux in, line out, and headphone out. The aux in would be really good since it is 3.5. Some of the smaller boutique um, little synthesizers and stuff that are coming with the mini jacks would be good for that. I have a Korg um, keyboard that has the built-in sounds and it has a 3.5 millimeter output and so that would be good for interfacing with that pretty easily. The volume knob on the side does seem to control the volume of both the headphones and the 
uh, line out at the same time and so those levels are together. It does supply 48 volt phantom power so if you're trying to use a condenser mic or anything that requires a 48 volt phantom power it does that it does provide that <clears throat> right now all the audio is being recorded with this tz audio stellar x3 microphone and it pushes it pretty good i actually only have the gain set at about halfway so it's about 12 o'clock and i feel like it's given me good levels with uh, pretty low noise now this little audio demo of just the response of singer songwriter guitar voice TZ Stellar X3 plugged into the interface. Once upon a time in deep dark woods, the majestic bear was feeling good. He wandered through the trees with a smile on his face, a clearing he found with some berries. Just when the drool hit his face, he felt a little rumble down in that one place. And he realized he needed to go for a walk. That's when a bear poops in the woods. A bear poops in the woods. One of the cool things about this, and it does have a built-in battery. It's so lightweight that it almost feels like it don't have a battery because usually things with batteries have a little weight to it. But it's got it's supposedly supports a thousand milliamp internal battery. Um, one of the drawbacks to that, though, is there's no indication of the amount of charge on the battery. It's either like green or red and red it means it's too low the benefit of that would be being able to plug directly into your iphone ipad or dslr camera and have an interface that you can use out without having any power it does come with two adapters for lightning or usb-c so you could plug it directly into your phone ipad or um, Android device I will say if you have a big bulky case big bulky case on your iPhone then you will need to take that off um, because this is not big enough to fit in the hole without taking the case off so one thing to note if you're using it with your iPhone or iPad just make sure that you for your listening is you turn the volume up on the device itself and not on the interface and then you can adjust it on the interface because it doesn't completely take over that aspect of the um, audio, as some interfaces do. So here are the tech specs that are in the manual. If you want to read, if you want to pause and read, feel free.
overall think this is a great purchase for me for my use of it i'm just going to probably use it just in, in my travel bag when i'm out and about or if I just, you know, need a quick audio interface to plug into something to capture an idea or anything like that, I will have it with me. It's not super bulky and I feel like it will hold up with some use. So I mentioned a few cons earlier about the device with it being a plastic build and uh, no battery indicator. Um, the other thing, it comes with a USB cable that's probably only about two feet long. USB-C to USB cable that's only about two, two feet long or something. And so super short USB cable. If you need a longer one, then I would suggest um, you know you can you can use a longer one. It is a good qual. It does seem to be a good quality USB-C cable, but it's definitely very short. Other than that, I have no complaints. If I could have some advice to Donner, um, not for sure about the pricing and form factor and their decisions, but having quarter-inch outs would be preferable in a lot of scenarios, but I can get I can get away with the mini jacks. The biggest thing would be having some sort of indicator of the battery, even if it's just four little LED lights that showing 100, 75, 50, 25. That would be something that would be good. And if it's charging, then it's you know kind of pulsating up. And if it is fully charged, then all the lights would be shown. Thanks guys for watching. Hopefully you found this video at least informative. Let you know a better decision if you want to get this Donner interface or not. It's up to you, not me. Links will be in the description. If you have any comments about the interface or any other interfaces, then uh, let me know. Also, do you anybody use a Donner or any kind of, um, I don't want to say cheap, lower priced audio interface? Kind of throw it in their gig bag or or whatever, let me know in the description and um, let's keep the conversation going. Talk to you guys later. Once upon a time Once upon a time in the great deep woods Wait, no, in the deep dark woods. Once upon a time In the deep dark woods There Wandering through the trees with a smile on his face, he found a clearing with some great berries that he could stuff his face. Bears poop, oops, bears poop in the woods. Just an audio. Just, 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 la, 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 la.